We saw his star <laughs> at its rising and have come to do him homage. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet, And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then Herod called the Magi secretly and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out, and behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to Herod, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. We usually wait for this time to complete the stable scene with these visitors. Um, different people, different backgrounds, different desires in their lives. The journey, the search, the uncertainties were all worth it and more. It was actually energizing and renewing. It was really a wise thing to do for these mystic travelers. They found God after a long trek. Herod had been so close but never understood anything. And as a result, the Holy Family would eventually, not too far from now, begin their lives as refugees and migrants. Not that they wanted to do that. They could only just return home. But they had to do that. They had to do that in the midst of innocent children dying and a family that could have been separated. We hear that up to this, this present time. When family, a father, a mother, and a young child, the mother had died. Now the little boy had died and the father was there mourning his wife and his young boy and not even entering the place, the land that he had hoped to enter and share his life and theirs in that place for a better life. The Magi reached out to the open arms of this newborn babe and embraced divine mercy. He mattered and they mattered and it was all so very personal touching their very lives, 
so personally. Their treasures, gold, frankincense, and myrrh, couldn't compare to the one who was the treasure of all humanity. God is never beyond our reach. God is never beyond our hopes or our longings. The star of wonder that they chose to follow, the light that guided them is present within each of us. And for the stranger, the outsider, without any walls or divisions, or separations. Like Casper and Melchior and Belfazar, the names we usually give these travelers, who find, they find in their lives something beyond anything they could imagine. We look at our own lives. Who will find in this new year of 2019, the light of Jesus in us and through us. From our heart's treasures, Jesus asked us that we give ourselves because we know that he is worth everything. And so, I believe in, in one God. God. The Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth.